That's just nasty. Another thing I would do differently is I just realized I have not seen the SC Project GP22 exhaust on a Tuono before. If you guys have, please let me know where. I'd love to check it out. This is Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory. I'm gonna give you a close up of all the upgrades we've done to this thing so far. And I'll share with you what I would personally do if this were my bike. It is not mine, but it will be for sale very soon. Let's start with the back. Fender Eliminator slash Tail Tidy. This one is by Motobot. I'll tell you why we like this one and why we don't. We love this one because it's pretty sturdy. I believe the frame is metal. Actually, the whole construction I believe is metal and it has this very bright tag light this LED strip to light up your license plate and in this case we have the double function turn signals where they run red and of course they're a turn indicator as seen there and that's basically it so I love this fender eliminator because of the standard position that it's in it's just you don't have to think about it it's in most places legal very effective what i don't love about it is actually the turn signal i would instead of using these i would use the rizoma legera signals as seen here in the front and i would use the triple function rizoma legera signals that's what that looks like now why don't we go to the rizoma stealth naked mirrors and what you see here is the kind of low profile mounts which these mounts have been upgraded since we installed these on this bike. The current adapters from Rizoma are a bit taller, which will give you more clearance and better visibility. So in the open position, you'll kind of see how close it is to my hand. When I'm wearing a glove, my glove with that knuckle protection will get very close to that. So Rizoma now has a much taller, I'll paste a video of another Tuono with the current adapters here, but um, it comes with a taller adapter. These adapters don't come with the mirrors these adapters are sold separately you can still use these shorter adapters so your choice that's what it looks like in the closed let's call it sport position or for your track days and this is what it looks like in the open position effective enough for me mirrors are kind of secondary right in most cases we're going a little faster than traffic you can always look over your shoulder but that's what those look like we love them brake lever rizoma adjustable and folding brake lever it folds to prevent from braking in case of a drop and it has this what i call micro adjustability you can see that there very adjustable now on the clutch side, we have a matching adjustable folding clutch lever by Rizoma, equally adjustable there. You'll notice here it says race. This particular bike does have Gabbro Racing race map. I recently took this bike exactly as you see it here to the dyno. I'll link the full dyno video at the end of this video. So enjoy that if you would like. But notice that the front turn signals are in the headlight now. Originally started accessorizing this bike. We used the Rizoma Legera front signals. Now that it has the race map, that map puts the signals automatically into the headlight, which is awesome. So before I sell this bike, we're gonna remove the Rizoma signals and cover that hole to make it look real flush. What else do we see? Yeah, okay, why don't we turn on this insane SC Project GP22 MotoGP replica exhaust. Let's do it. That is nasty, nasty, nasty. 
If you guys haven't seen the dyno video, please watch that. I was surprised with the horsepower that this bike produced with this tiny exhaust and uh, and the Gabbro race map. Definitely check that out. Now I'm going to bring you along for some onboard video so you can hear this bike and a little personal feedback on what it feels like to ride this nasty, nasty Prelia 210 V4 1100. Let's do it. All right, let's take this beast back to the shop. And on the ride, I'll let you know what I would do differently if this was my personal motorcycle. Let's open the Rizoma Stealth naked mirrors. All right, you see how close my glove gets to that mirror? So there we go. I mean, if I'm moving my hand in and out, it's gonna touch. Not a real problem, but maybe not ideal. If this was my personal bike, I would keep these lower profile adapters on these Rizoma mirrors. <laughs> That's just nasty. Too nasty, too, too nasty. So what would I do differently if this was my personal motorcycle? The first thing is I would choose a different exhaust. Although I appreciate the beauty of that GP22 MotoGP replica exhaust, and I understand, I mean, it sounds like a MotoGP race bike but for me it reminds me of when i was 19 years old when i first became obsessed with getting my first motorcycle the attraction for me was the idea of anonymity and spending time alone you know motorcycles compared to cars for example are so minimalistic meaning you can't carry a lot of stuff you can't really carry people you know passengers that's what first attracted me to getting a bike was quality time by myself with an incredible machine and no baggage including people and naturally i'm not the type that likes a lot of attention i don't like to call a lot of attention to myself i don't like loud and bright things in terms of you know clothes that i wear or vehicles that i drive or ride so this exhaust for me personally calls too much attention to each their own another thing i would do differently is i would add some carbon fiber frame and swing arm covers either by elmberger or extreme components I'll patch a video here of the extreme component matte carbon fiber we have at the shop and I personally would keep these low profile stealth mirror adapters what else I would try to keep if there's a way I got to look more into it but I would love to keep the external the Rizoma front turn signals I just think they look cool they're more effective although I think the front turn signals are not that important on a motorcycle in most cases we're passing or going faster than the flow of traffic what else would I do differently can we just say look at this beautiful day amazing supposedly there's rain coming but look at this beautiful day awesome motorcycle what more can you ask for blessed anyway rear sets i can do gp shift or standard it usually takes me about a lap or half a lap to get uh to get in the mode to get used to whatever i'm riding at the racetrack and we love extreme components over let's say spider rear sets for street bike because extreme component rear sets will take the stock rear brake switch which takes less time to install for other rear sets like the spider we have to add a hydraulic brake switch to street bikes which is a little more involved than you would imagine anyway what else would i do differently i would add some engine covers again extreme components i mean right now we're seeing awesome stuff coming from extreme components but the spider engine covers are awesome too anything billet aluminum and minimalistic meaning not too much material i don't prefer the the big like the gb racing big plastic covers although they probably are the most protective they don't look that that good and i think the uh, the billet aluminum stuff i've seen them do great after some drops and crashes i probably add a rizoma reservoir and that's about it wait wait no 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 for sure a brembo rcs master cylinder definitely but i think that's it all right now let's see if we can go through your favorite tunnel on this nasty Aprilia Tuono 
V4 with the nasty SC Project GP22 exhaust. Don't forget to watch the dyno video. Don't forget to subscribe. There's our favorite Ruben Rojas mural. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you in the next one.